Hi guys, welcome back to the Frugal Homestead. Today I wanted to show you another gig app. That is the Grubhub gig app. Now I use this app, but I don't use it as common as I do some of the others and I'll explain a little bit later why. So, this is probably one of the most easiest interfaces of all of the gig apps that I have worked. You're gonna love it if you do it, especially if you live in a big city where it's busy. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually go on Grubhub, apply, put your application in, go through the process, get approved, then download the Grubhub for Drivers app. Once you download the app, you're gonna open it up, log in, but the one thing to know about Grubhub, just because you're logged in does not mean you have started your shift or started your app to receive orders. So the next thing you are going to have to do is go up to the top of that app where it says unavailable, tap that, toggle over to available, and then hit the back button and go back to your main screen. You are now ready to start receiving orders. It should say available where it said unavailable before. When you get an offer, it is going to have an orange banner up at the top of the app and it's going to say view. You're going to tap on that view. When you do that, it is going to show you your offer. It's going to have different information like the name of the restaurant. It's going to tell you how many miles to go to the restaurant and to complete your order. The estimated pay, it is an estimate because the customer has the option to change their tip later if they choose to. And a basic map for a general idea of what area you're going to so you can see if it's going the direction you want it to go. Now you have to make a decision. You have to decide whether you want to accept this order or reject this order. If you reject the order, it will give you a list of different options to explain why you rejected the order. It could be that the pay is too low, you're driving it in different directions, there's multiple choices, just pick the one that you want and then reject the order. Now, it's important to know that will affect your performance and that is something that they go off of on how many orders and what orders they send you just like any other app if you choose to accept the order hit the accept button and then it's going to bring up another screen on this next screen it's going to have the details of the restaurant the address of the restaurant pick up instructions for the restaurant your order information and then if you hit the little triangle down at the bottom that will actually navigate you straight to the restaurant from the app you don't have to open up maps or anything else it will navigate you once you've arrived at the restaurant you are going to hit the arrived button make sure you read their pickup instructions. Some restaurants will want you to go through drive through some restaurants will want you to come into the dining room, some restaurants will have you wait outside. Just make sure you follow the rules. It's always to be on great terms with your restaurants. Um, make sure that whenever you go in to pick up your order, check for any drinks or any odd things that may be on the order that could be easily forgotten and make sure you get those because we want our customers to be as happy as we possibly can with the order. Once you've got your order, you're going to tap got order in the app. Now you're going to take your order out to your car, put it in your Grubhub provided bag, and then you're going to tap leaving on the app. This is now going to bring up another screen, and this is going to be your delivery screen. This is going to have the customer's address. It's going to have any special instructions from the customer that they may want to give you, like maybe the color of their house. Maybe they want to put in a specific spot. Make sure you follow those directions, because once again, it's important to make sure our customer is totally satisfied. Now, after I've re reviewed all that information, I will go ahead and hit navigate on the customer screen. 
it's going to navigate me straight to their house or to wherever the business or whatever they want me to deliver to. Once I arrive, I'm going to hit arrived on the app and then it's going to prompt me to text my customer. This is to let them know that their order has arrived. A default text will come up. Now you're going to send that to the customer, but I also take a picture real quick just so that they have good information. I snap a picture and I send it with that text to let them know exactly where I set their order. After you're done with that, we will swipe delivered. Once you swipe delivered, you are now finished with that order totally. So now you can go on to your next order if you have another one in queue or wait for the next order to be offered. Now, there's some additional items in the app I want to let you know about. If you hit the three bars or the hamburger up in the left hand corner, you'll see other things such as their COVID-19 policy. You can click on their scheduling and you can actually pick shifts there. Um, make sure that you complete your shifts though because that affects your performance too. You can actually see your task if you went into those to get back to the task screen. You hit task or you can see your earnings. You can see your earnings for the day or you can see your earnings for the week or previous weeks before. It'll show you program levels. They have three different levels in Grubhub. Those are all explained in the app on the program level tab. It has your account information. This is things such as your banking information, things that are just personal to you. And also there is a help section that gives you plenty of options in there if you need help. Now, the one thing I will say about Grubhub, they have amazing support. I have not got any gig app that I am as impressed with their support as I am with Grubhub. Amazing. I love it. The one thing I don't like about Grubhub is I live in a rural area and I have to commute mm, 20 to 30 miles to any area that has a lot of gigs, any of the gig gaps. So when I commute to those towns, since there's not much in my town, I will oftentimes turn on Grubhub and hope to get a Grubhub in my local town so that I can get paid on my way back from my commute and I can also use it on my mileage log for my tax write-offs. So that is how I use it. So please do not beat me up too bad. The order I took in this video is a terrible order unless you are using it for the things that I am using it for. It did not pay well. There was tons of miles, but you know what? I was going to travel those 30 miles anyway, so it was worth it for me to take it. But if you're in a bigger city, I have heard these generally pay higher than DoorDash. So hopefully that helps you out some. I mean, check it out. What's it going to hurt? Either it works for you or don't, right? I thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate you guys. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you get all of the notifications of our upcoming videos. We really appreciate you guys and we love the family. Make sure you drop me a comment. Let me know if you use Grubhub. Let me know how it does in your town because I'm sure it's way better in a bigger city than it is where I'm at. And make sure you give me a thumbs up. I like seeing those. It definitely helps out our algorithm. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.